Shabbat Shalom, everyone. <clears throat> we are gathered today on the 7th of the ninth month, which is also the 19th of November, 2022, on the Gregorian calendar. And we're actually going to go over an old post I happened to run across today, looking up something else. I don't remember where this text came from, but it was a quote, copy and paste from some writing. And I believe it was uh, mostly from the Septuagint versions of scripture, which is why it might not read exactly the way someone might remember it in the Masoretic text. But we're going to go through this, and it's an exhortation to repentance. All right. And I had added, this is how we should be toward the truth and others if we desire life everlasting. Okay. So this is an exhortation to repentance that all sins may be forgiven him who has turned to Elohim with his whole heart. In the 88th Psalm, quote, if his children forsake my Torah and walk not in my judgments and keep not my commandments, I will visit their inequities with a rod and their sins with stripes. Nevertheless, my loving kindness, I will not scatter away from them, unquote. Now, I do believe in the Masoretic text, this is the 89th Psalm. And for the context, it's speaking of the Dawid and his children in a little literal sense, but the beloved and those who are his children through obedience to the word in the Ruachni or spiritual sense. He's also... Our Mashiach is the one who visits our inequities with the rod because of the name of the Father is in him, as expounded on in Exodus chapter 23, if I remember correctly. This is also in Yeshiyahu, thus saith Yahuwah, Kadosh Yisrael, when you shall turn and mourn, then you shall be delivered and shalt know where thou thou wast or was meaning then you'll remember from where you came also in the same place woe unto you children of desertion saith yahuwah ye have made counsel not by me and covenant not by my ruach to add sin to sin also in yiramiyahu Withdraw your foot from a rough way, and thy face from thirst. But she said, I will be comforted. I am willing, for she loved strangers and went after them. Yeah, I don't understand that. What does that, what is that saying? This is saying that withdraw your foot from the rough way and your face from thirst. But she said, I, she's going to be comforted. She's going to go after strange lovers anyways. She's going to oh. do what the desire of her heart is. Who oh, is? Yes. Uh, his bride, the two, the two houses of Yisrael, Yirmiyahu specifically was foretelling, I believe, to the house of Yisrael in this one, but he has, he has foretellings about both. The idea was they didn't repent of the things they were doing wrong, so he cast them away until the time that they, they did so. And that you can see it throughout history, but the full culmination of their repentance of the northern kingdom, if you will, is in the Reformation. Not oh. as yeah. Okay. okay. <clears throat> this first section is talking about how we obstinately and repeatedly refused to be doing his will and, and kept going off in a perverted way. And he still called for us to come back to him. And he would not completely wipe us out. Unlike what he did at the flood All right so also in yeshiyahu be you converted because you devise a deep and wicked counsel also in the same place i am he i am he that blots out your inequities and will not remember them but do you remember them and let us be judged together or let us come together for judgment do you first tell your unrighteousnesses, which is another way of saying confess and forsake and you will be forgiven and cleansed. Also in the same, 
Seek Yahuwah, and when you shall have found him, call upon him. But when he has drawn near to you, let the wicked forsake his ways, and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him be converted to Yahuwah. And mercy shall be prepared for him, because he does much forgive your sins. Also in the same, remember these things, Yaakov and Yisrael, too, because Yaakov is the house of Yahuda, the ones that were not cast out in the original covenant times, but they had what they were doing at the heel of their actions. They were expediently corrected or benefited for obedience, unlike the northern kingdom that which was divorced and cast off. And those are the ones who have striven with Elohim and men and have overcome as a prince of El. All what Yis or the upright of El as well, all what Yisrael can mean if you break down the word. Yaakov is he will return at the hill or he will recompense it like returning at the hill of what you're doing. And again, if you want more detail about how this Yaakov is representative of the kingdom of Yahuda or the southern kingdom, and Yisrael is obviously the northern kingdom in foretelling, you can find that in the book Yahuda's Scepter and Yahusuf's Birthright, or Judah's Scepter and Joseph's Birthright is what the title was originally. It's free online still today, <clears throat> as far as I'm aware. But it says also in the same, remember these things, Yaakov and Yisrael, because you are my servant. I have called you my servant, and you, Yisrael, forget me not. Behold, I have washed away your unrighteousness as a rain cloud, and your sins as darkness. Be converted to me, and I will redeem you. Also in the same, have these things in mind and groan. Repent that you have been seduced. Be converted in heart unto me, and have in mind the former things of old, because I am El, and there is none other apart from me. Also in the same, for a very little season, I have forsaken you, and with great mercy I will pity you. In a very little wrath, I turned away my face from you. In everlasting chesed, or unmerited tender loving kindness, or mercy, I will pity you. Also in the same, thus said the Most High, who dwells on high, forever set apart in the set apart ones. His name is Yahuwah, the Most High, resting in the set apart places and giving calmness of mind to the faint-hearted, and giving life to those that are broken-hearted. I am not angry with you forever, neither will I be avenged in all things on you. For my Ruach shall go forth from me, and I have made all inspiration. And on account of a very little sin I have grieved him, and have turned away my face from him. And he has suffered the vile man, and has gone away sadly in his ways. I have seen his ways, and have healed him, and I have comforted him, and I have given to him the true consolation. And shalom upon shalom to those who are afar off, and to those that are near. And Yahuwah said, I have healed them, but they are but the unrighteous, as a troubled sea, are thus tossed about and cannot rest. There is no joy to the wicked, says Yahuwah. Also in Yirmiyahu, shall a bride forget her adornment, or a virgin the girdle of her breast? But my people has forgotten me days whereof there is no number. Also in the same, for a decree I will speak upon the nation or upon the kingdom or I will take them away and destroy them. And if the nation should be converted from its evils, I will repent of the ills which I have thought to do unto them. And I will speak the decree upon the nation or the people, that I should rebuild it and plant it, 
and they will do evil before me, that they should not hearken to my voice, and I will repent of the good things of which I spoke of doing to them. Also in the same, Return to me, dwelling of Yisrael, says Yahuwah, and I will not harden my face upon you, because I am merciful, says Yahuwah, and I will not be angry against you forever. Also in the same, Be converted, you children that have departed, says Yahuwah, because I will rule over you, and will take you one from a city, or one of a city, and two of a family. And I will bring you into Zion, and I will give you shepherds after my heart, and they shall feed you, feeding you with discipline. Also in the same, be converted, you children who are turning, and I will heal your affliction. Also in the same, Wash your heart from wickedness, Yarushalayim, that you may be healed. How long shall there be in you thoughts of thy sorrows? Also in the same. Thus said Yahuwah, Does not he that falls arise, or he that turns away, shall he not be turned back? Because this people has turned itself away by a shameless vision, and they have persisted in their presumption and would not be converted. So he says, also in the same, there is no man that repents of his inequity, saying, what have I done? The runner has failed from his course as the sweating horse in his nine. And that reminds me of what Shaul did. He doesn't, he didn't acknowledge the, the king, Shaul the king, when he was rebuked by Shemuel or Samuel for not following the word of Yahuwah and putting the Amicalites under the ban. He said, but I did what he said. We just kept the best stuff to offer for him and I didn't kill the king, but I, I did what he said. And he did not acknowledge that he was at fault. That was the end of that. He was rebellious against being reproved, something we have to be very mindful not to do. This is also in the same Therefore, let every one of you turn from his evil way and make your desires better. And they said, we will be comforted because we will go after, or we'll, yeah, we will go after our inventions. And every one of us will do the sins which please his own heart. Also in the same, pour down as a torrent tears, day and night, give yourself no rest. Let not the pupil of thine eye be silent. Also in the same, let us search out our ways and be turned to Yahuwah. Let us purge our hearts with our hands, and let us look unto Yahuwah who dwells in the Shemaim. We have sinned, and we have provoked you, and you have not been propitiated. propitiated sorry. Also in the same, and Yahuwah said to me in the days of Yoash, Yahu the king, You have seen what the dwelling of the house, the house of Yisrael, has done to me. It has gone away upon every lofty mountain, and has gone under every shady tree, and has committed fornication there. And I said, After she had committed all these fornications, return unto me. And she has not returned. Also in the same, Yahuwah will not reject you forever, and when he has made low, he will have pity according to the multitude of his mercy or loving kindnesses, because he will not bring low from his whole heart, neither will he reject the children of men. Also in Yehezkiel or Ezekiel, and the righteous shall not be able to be delivered in the day of transgression. When I say to the righteous, you shall surely live, but he will trust to his own righteousness and will do inequity. Inequity is ayin, wa, noon. So what you perceive and put into action, what you know to do that's wrong, that's inequity. He says, all his righteousnesses shall not be remembered. In his inequity, which he has done, 
in that he shall die. And when I shall say to the wicked, you shall surely die. And he turns himself from his sin and does righteousness and judgment and restores to the debtor his pledge and gives back his robbery and walks in the precepts of life that he may do no inequity. He shall surely live and shall not die. None of his sins which he has sinned shall be stirred up against him because he has done righteousness and judgment. He shall live in them. Also in the same, I am Yahuwah, because I bring low the high tree and exalt the low tree, and dry up the green tree and cause the dry tree to flourish. Now, that's also in Yechezkiel, right? But that particular part is a foretelling about the reign of the Davidic or the sons of Dawid through the line of Perez of Yahuda that was being brought low in the land because of what they were doing. And Tay Taffy was taken by Yeremi Yahu over to Ireland and married the Haramon there and founded the kingdom of Ulster. And they exalted the low tree or the dry tree and caused them to flourish. That foretelling was in here. There's another part that talks about it. And it's also mentioned by Yeremi Yahu, where he was given the commission to break down and to destroy and to build and plant. This is also in the same, and you, son of man, say unto the house of Yisrael, even as you have spoken, saying our errors and our inequities are in us, and we waste away in them, and how shall we live? Say unto them, as I live, says Yahuwah, I will not the death of a sinner, only let him turn from his way, and he shall live. Also in the same, I, Yahuwah, have built up the ruined places and have planted the wasted places. Also in the same, and the wicked man, if he turn from all his inequities that he has done and keep all my commandments and do judgment and righteousness and loving kindness, shall surely live and shall not die. None of his sins which he has committed shall be in remembrance. In his righteousness which he has done, he shall live. Do I willingly desire the death of the unrighteous man, saith the Adonai Yahuwah, rather than that he should turn him from his evil way, that he should live? Also in the same, be you converted and turn you from all your wickednesses, and they shall not be to you for a punishment. Cast away from you all your inequities which you have wickedly committed against me, and make to yourselves a new heart and a new ruach. And why will ye die, house of Yisrael? For I desire not the death of him that dieth, saith Adonai Yahuwah. Just so you can see, you turn from all your wickednesses, and they shall not be to you for a punishment. But he does not make that true of your inequities because our Mashiach is the one who will correct all of our inequities in this life if we repent to him or in the next life if we don't. But the inequities will have a price to pay. It's what you knowingly do wrong. Also in Daniel, and after the end of the days, I, Nebuchadnezzar, lifted up my eyes to Shemaim and my sense returned to me. And I praised the Most High and Baruch the King of Shemaim, and praised him that lives forever, because his power is eternal, his kingdom is for generations, and all who inhabit the earth are as nothing. Also in Micah, alas for me, my inner being, because truth is perished from the earth, and among all there is none that corrects, all judge in blood. Everyone treads down his neighbor with tribulation. They prepare their hands for evil. And remember, we return, we repent by our hands too. It just mentioned above. It's meaning that it's the actions that you do, right? Also in the same, rejoice not against me, mine enemy, because I have fallen, but I shall arise. Because although I shall sit in darkness, Yahuwah will give me light. 
I will bear Yahuwah's is anger because I have sinned against him until he declare my declare right my cause. Also in Zephaniah, come you together and pray, undisciplined people. Before you be made as a flower that passes away, before the anger of Yahuwah had come upon you, before the day of Yahuwah's fury come upon you. Seek ye Yahuwah, all ye humble ones of the earth. Do judgment and seek righteousness, and seek for gentleness, and answer you to him that ye may be protected in the day of Yahuwah's anger. Also in Zakar Yahu, or Zechariah, they call it, but Zakar Yahu is remember Yahuwah. That Zakar is also his memorial, his remembrance, or his memorial name is his Shem Zakar. He says, Be you converted unto me, and I will be turned unto you, meaning you reap what you sow. Cricket, come on. Sorry. Also in Hosea, Be you converted, Yisrael, to Yahuwah, your Elohim. Because you are weakened in thine inequities, take words with you and be converted to Yahuwah, your Elohim. Worship him and say, you are mighty to put away our sins, that you may not receive inequity, but that you may receive good things. Also in Ecclesiasticus or Sirach ben Yahushua, it says, be you turned to Yahuwah and forsake your sins and exceedingly hate cursing, and know righteousness and Elohim's judgment, and stand in the lot of the propitiation of the Most High, and go into the portion of life with the living, and those that make confession. Delay not in the error of the wicked. Confession perishes from the dead man, as if it were nothing. Living and sound, you shall confess to Yahuwah, and you shall esteem in his loving kindnesses. For great is the loving kindness of Yahuwah, and his propitiation unto such as turn unto him. Also in the same, how good is it for a true heart to show forth repentance? For you shall thou, or for thus shall thou escape voluntary sin. <clears throat> also in the acts of the emissaries. But Kepha said unto him, Your money perish with you, because you think to be able to obtain the favor of Elohim by money. You have no part nor lot in this belief, for your heart is not right with Elohim. Therefore repent of this your inequity or wickedness, sorry, and pray, Yahuwah, if haply the thought of your heart may be forgiven you. For I see that you are in the bond of inequity and in the bitterness of gall. Also in the second epistle of the Baruch Shaul, or Palu, to the Corinthians, For the sorrow which is according to Elohim works a steadfast repentance unto deliverance, but the sorrow of the world works death. And another witness to there being two types of sorrow, one that saves or delivers and one that, one that is not good, you can find that in the shepherd of Hermes. <clears throat> This is also the same place for this very matter. But if you have forgiven anything to anyone, I also forgive him. For I also forgave what I have forgiven for your sakes in the person of Mashiach, that we may not be circumvented by Satan, for we are not ignorant of his wiles, meaning if we don't forgive, we won't be forgiven. Also in the same but I fear least perchance when I come to you, Elohim may again humble me among you, and I shall bewail many of those who have sinned before and have not repented, for that they have committed fornication and lasciviousness. Or lasciviousness, there we go. Also in the same, I told you before and foretell you as I sit present and absent now from those who before have sinned, and to all others, as if I shall come again, I will not spare. Also in the second to Timothy, but shun profane novelties of words, for they are of much advantage to impiety, and their word creeps as a cancer, 
of whom is Herminius and Philetus, who have departed from the truth, saying that the resurrection has already happened, and have subverted the belief of certain ones. But the foundation of Elohim stands firm, having the seal. Elohim knows them that are his. And everyone who names the name of Yahuwah, in, it says Yahuwah here, but in the regular scripture version we have, it usually says, but everyone who names the name of Mashiach shall depart from all inequity. But in a great house there are not only vessels of gold and silver, but also of wood and of clay, and some indeed for honor and some for contempt. Therefore, if anyone shall amend himself from these things, he shall be a vessel set apart for honor, meaning teaching false things, speaking evil of others, doing the things that make you unprofitable, right? If you amend yourself from these things, he shall be a vessel set apart for honor and useful for Yahuwah, prepared for every good work. Moreover, flee youthful lusts, but follow after righteousness, belief, charity, shalom, with them that call upon Yahuwah from a pure heart. But avoid questions that are foolish and without learning, knowing that they begat strifes. And a servant of Yahuwah ought not to strive, but to be gentle, docile to all men, patient with modesty, correcting those who resist, Least at any time, Elohim may give them repentance to the acknowledgement of the truth and recover themselves from the snares of the devil by whom they are held captive at his will. And then last but not least, it says also in the Apocalypse or Revelation, remember whence you have fallen and repent. But if not, I will come to you quickly and remove your candlestick out of its place. All right, thank you all for your time. May we all take this exhortation to repentance with a, a humble heart and see how it reflects to our own lives. Have a Shabuatov and see you next time.